there's one con to coming here. This hill, <laughs> it's like the Buffalo Springs uphill out of transition after you've raced. It's a quad burner for sure. At least it's short. We've made it to Taper Week, a sweet sound to triathletes who've been loyally logging the miles and hours of training to prepare for race day. This training block has been like no other. We put our heads down and went to work, amassing more than 18 hours of training in three out of the past seven weeks. It's helped build our fitness back to where we want to be, tested our mental toughness, and fueled a fire at the perfect time as we look at three half Ironman races on the schedule over the next three months. Time to get going. Woo, hello warm. Mm -hmm. is perfect without a wetsuit. Great way to start a Friday. What a treat it is to be able to do open water swimming in the middle of a major city. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning around 6.30. We are about a mile and a half into our 13 mile run today. We have 13 miles broken in to a two mile warm up, three miles building into half marathon goal pace, half mile easy. Then we have two miles of fart licks, one minute on, one minute off, half mile easy. Three miles at 70.3 race pace effort. And then a two mile cooldown. Actually, I actually always kind of like when the 13 miles are broken up like this, kind of the mind doesn't just wander. You have to stay with it. Remember what the workout is zone into that get some good work in the big work is done one week to Ironman 70.3 Lubbock we look forward to making our way out to West Texas and lighting that race fire once again <laughs> <laughs> 